What's going on YouTube? It's Belzy here. I've been getting asked all the time to do a stick collection video slash a what's in my stick bag. So we got here the active twigs that I currently use. And then we got some more. It's about half our collection currently, but we got them here. We're gonna give you guys a little rundown on what I'm using, what my stick specs are. Give you a little detail, in-depth overview of some of these twigs as well. All right, so these are all the active sticks that I like and or use. Currently, I've been on this huge agent wave. I can't really find a stick I like better than the agent. It just spins so nicely, it's balanced. I'm very comfortable with it. So majority of the sticks you see now on the page are all agents, even when they're dressed as other sticks. So here we have a white proto, but it's actually an agent just dressed as a proto. But I had, I had some trouble using the all white stick, to be quite honest with you. So I had to just keep this one in the wrapper. I gave the other one away when we were in Carolina. So somebody out there I hopefully is enjoying it because I could not use this thing, especially without tape. You got to tape it so you can see what you're doing with it. This is an agent dressed as a proto R. Nice little silver on it. Done a few shows with this one. Got a little pad on it still. Yeah, that's sweet. I'm not a big, uh, big fan of the chrome though, the rainbow chrome when it's in the light. But they seem to be doing that with all the new sticks now. So that actually look pretty cool in that angle though. <laughs> not going to lie. Real cool ones here, we got the uh, custom Bauer sticks they did for the Kraken and for the Golden Knights. This was a Matty Beneers uh, design inspired. He came up with it, the Seattle Kraken all the way down. Just an absolutely beautiful stick. Got the Seattle skyline there as well, the Space Needle. Got the Kraken logo. Got my name on it there too. There's that Space Needle thing again. Then we got the Winter Classic stamp right on it. And then if you want to go over to the Vegas one, this one's pretty sweet too. Got the Winter Classic stamp on top. Got Vegas all down the stick, logo embedded everywhere. Nice golden chrome, super slick looking stick. Never use these ones though, these just stay on the shelf. These are collectible ones. We got two more though, so let me know, maybe we'll do a giveaway. Then moving over here, we got a bunch of Hyperlite 2s. Uh, we did a lot of like videos and stuff with the Hyperlite 2s, so that's why I have so many of them. Bauer kept firing them over for me. Shout out to Bauer. But I just don't use them anymore. They're just a little bit too heavy for me. Uh, I just don't really like the way they spin and it's hard to catch on the blade. There's a lot of different shapes going on at the bottom of the blade. So a little longer as well, yeah. So uh, I just sort of stayed away from the Hyperlite too, but you know, I got a few here. So you guys gotta hit me up, let me know. Whoever uh, wants some sticks, drop some comments. I'll do some giveaways. And then we got the original Hyperlites here as well. So we got both generations of them. Moving over here, I got a couple sinks. I loved the sink for the brief time I was using it too, but it was it was pretty long. Uh, the stock sticks were long as well, so I ended up cutting one down pretty good so I could spin it real quicker. But uh, this is a beautiful one. This one's a silver sink. This one's a nice silver sink. I really like the look of this one. And here's it beside the stock sink, so you can get the uh, the color difference on it. Pretty slick looking twigs though, man. They're getting really nice with the sticks. Moving on over here, we've got another agent dressed as a Proto R. This one's red. This looks fire. The last red ones we had, we broke them, gave them away in Vancouver. Uh, so if you guys see me, we're always giving away sticks when we can. The, uh, the collection's been depleted a little bit though. We've been breaking and giving away a lot of sticks recently. So this is sort of what we're working with, but we still got tons of agents and that's what I've been sticking with right now is the agents. This again, this one's dressed as a Proto. The red is so slick though. It's gonna take it right out for you. You gotta show off this red, it's so nice. All right, yeah, the red is so clean. Gonna add this one to the lineup now. We took it out of the packaging, but yeah, it's beautiful. And we got my favorite sticks of all time here. You guys don't see these much on the page anymore, but if you're an OG fan, you know about a year and a half ago, probably two years now, we dropped a stick, retail stick with Bauer. We fully customized it ourselves. This is the Zach Bell Nexus Geo. You can find our review video on our page as well, but this is the Zach Bell Nexus Geo. We had so many Easter eggs all embedded throughout the stick, fully customed it. Flipped the Bauer signs from the back to the front, first time I've ever done that. Tried out the Fire Chrome colorway, it's the first time that's ever been used with the Bauer stick as well. And then we obviously did the lightsaber handle on the bottom, because you know, it's a hockey Jedi. Darth Maul style, of course, fire. Yeah, and like I said, I keep these on the shelf now because I only got three left, so we don't really use them that often, but maybe we can do a giveaway. Let us know. All right, moving down. I haven't used these in a little bit now, but I was using one of these for ball hockey. This is the Sling and the ADV. I was honestly never a fan of the Sling, so this one pretty much was never touched, but I was a huge fan of the original ADV, and this was the only one I got because they were so limited when they came out, and I think they were like ridiculous amount of money. I think they dropped them for like 480 bucks or something ridiculous. So they sold out quick, but we ended up getting our hands on one of the ADVs and I used this stick a lot back in the day and it's already cracking now on the blade. So 
Can't really use it anymore, but it's just an interesting stick. It was so light to stick handle with. Looked crazy on camera. Yeah, I miss this stick. Might have to use this one again. Yeah, the ADV is such a clean looking twig too. But uh, yeah, the original ADV, you couldn't go wrong with it. I almost want to say it was lighter than the, uh, the sling they came out with after as well, but I could definitely be wrong there. All right, I got all the twigs out, so I might as well use them, right? I haven't used a few of these in a long time, so I think we're gonna grab, ooh, it's hard to choose. We got like a stick store going right now, boys. All right, we're definitely gonna grab that new agent dressed as the Proto R. We're definitely gonna fire that one off a few times. Maybe we use the old Zach Bell Geo for a few rips as well. This blade is just chewed up though, like not good. Why is it yellow? I don't know. Oh, it's grass. <laughs> oh, is it or really like? Get it focused up on there. That's grass. Grass all throughout the blade. I must have <laughs> been doing something with it. I don't even remember. But that's a that's a hazard when you're spinning it. That's gonna cut my hands up so hard. Yeah. So we're gonna not spin this one, but we'll take a few shots. Got the Proto. The agent dresses the Proto as well. Yeah, we'll fire off the old ADV too. I miss this thing. Hopefully the blade holds up though. She's getting pretty cracked. Yeah, there's a pile of other sticks we just grabbed out of the, the garage, but there's not too much to talk about over there. So we just keep our nice Bauer sticks over here just to show you guys what's sort of in our stick bag right now, what sticks I sort of cycle through. But yeah, I've been using the Agent Hardcore now for, I guess since it came out really. I just fell in love with the Agent Man, so. All right, let's go shoot some pucks. Let's see what we can do. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Because I never take slap shots, so we'll do some slap shots for you. All right. Let's go with the old uh, ADV. See what this thing's got left in it. Oh, it feels so light at the blade. It's crazy. Holy, I can't hit the net. I can feel the blade flexing when I shoot. Doesn't have much life left. Yeah, I gotta grab the sling, this thing's done. It's cooked, I'm like shooting with a sponge. Twigs just for looks now. Let's try the sling out. This thing has pop, I never used it, so. Oh, not great. Not great. <laughs> All right, well, I just remembered why I don't like the sling, so I'm gonna put this thing back. <sighs> it was a little reliable, the old beat up one. Oh, stay with me. This puck does not want to settle down. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to catch that. Oh. Oh, see you later, Puck. All 
All right, now I got my current favorite stick that I'm using. This is just a straight up stock agent, P28, 77 flex. Left-handed, no tape, no wax. Man, this stick's quick. Can you hit the net? Oh, what's going on, buddy? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it, buddy. Knuckles. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, guys, that's uh, what's in my stick bag right now. Those are the current sticks that are in the rotation, sticks I like, stick I use currently. So we're gonna head back to the house. I got a few more cool sticks to show you guys with some stories behind them, and we'll wrap this video up. Light work. All right, we got a few cool twigs down in the basement I want to show you guys as well before we end this video. First one we have is the stick from our EA shoot, motion capture for NHL 24. We have Rasmus Dali in here, Adam Fantilli, and uh, Paul Bissonnette, Biz Nasty. This one's really cool. This is one of the first Nexus Geos, Zach Bell Nexus Geos we ever produced that came to, uh, to retail. Uh, we have a bunch of cool signatures on this one. This is the stick that Zegris used at All-Star when we were teaching him his move before he went out and did it at the All-Star uh, shootout competition. So here we have Jamie Drysdale when he was on Anaheim. We got John Klingberg, Mason McTavish, uh, Trevor Zegris, and Troy Terry. Just pretty sweet. This is uh, Joey Valeno. We grabbed this one right out of the room, right from his locker. Uh, our first Red Wings game, he brought us down to the room, showed us the dressing room at Little Caesars, gave us a few sticks, so that was pretty sweet. Shout out to Joey, he's also got the blade signed here. Yeah, so pretty cool. Joey's name on the top there as well. Then Bauer sent this one over recently, the old Easton Synergy. They had like an old stock of them that they found, so, and so this is pretty sweet. Probably never use it, but pretty legendary twig to have going. This was from our shoot with uh, Tim Stutzla, Jimmy Stu. Way back in the day, we were unboxing the new Hyperlite products with Bauer out in Ottawa. So he ended up uh, giving me this one here. We got a signature, Jimmy Stu. We got a nice little note on there. I don't know if you guys can read it. Timmy, keep up the great work. Love shooting with you today, bro. Beauty. Love it. Thank you, Jimmy. Shout out Jimmy Stu. Unreal little twig for the collection. This is the custom Xbox sticks they did with Bauer. I think they only did 20 to 40 of these special boxes. You can see under there, it's got my gamer tag on Xbox underneath it too. A few more twigs tucked in the corner here. Grab them out for us. Oh my gosh. Just a few. 
That's gonna be it for my uh, what's in my stick collection slash rotation. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more YouTube videos, we're gonna start pounding them out this year. We have a bunch. We got the plaques in recently, boys. Check them out. Let's go YouTube. See you in the next video.